Hi, this is Thomas from Mars Moon Space TV. I am back and today I am alone. There is no Dolly with me, but don't worry, she will be back. She is having a pain in the tooth, so she is at home and resting. But nothing can stop me. I have to show you this image you are looking at here. And that shows you or us what looks like a cube on the Martian surface you are looking at four white or lighter objects and the one in the bottom has what looks like a cube on top of it and you are probably asking why is this so interesting what are we exactly looking at uh, is it a railway image is it a satellite image this is a satellite image from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and it is taken from a distance of 304 kilometers away, which is about 190 miles. Have a good look at that cube-shaped object you are looking at here. I'm gonna get back to that one in just a second, because I will have to show you the original picture. And as you can see here, range to target side 304 kilometers, 190 miles you I have been taking pictures from this of this from the JP2 high view software that everybody can get on NASA's homepage I'm gonna put up the link you can find the link to marsmoonspace.com in the YouTube video description and from there you can find the link to NASA's homepage where you can find the link to this picture you can find a lot of links and links and links but you can find a link to this picture and where to where you can download high view so you can go look at orbiter images as this one in a high resolution this is from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter satellite and this is an amazing picture I before we go back to, to the cube, I want to show you what it looks like when you're using the high view software from NASA. This, this is the actual picture we are looking at from NASA. And this is what it looks like when you look at it from a distance of 304 kilometers away or 190 miles. You can see much, you can see there is what looks like a, a, a mountain or a, a something like that. There is uh, some elevations uh, on the ground, you can see difference in, uh, in, in height and elevations uh, on the ground. But let's get a little bit closer here, because we have to find a specific area. As you can see, the software loads are loading all the time and you can see it's every time you zoom in it, it clears up a little more and a little more it's actually a amazing tool if you are looking here this is the area we are gonna look at and the one down here is the one with the cube on top of it let's see how close we can get this is an amazing picture. I love these JP2 images. These are amazing. I'm just gonna go a little bit up so you can see what we are looking at here. There is a lot of what looks like at first eyesight, at first sight, looks like rocks, but but something inside of me told me have a closer look at that rock, at those rocks because it's not just one it's many and here you can already here you can see let me just get it a little bit up here i must admit i like gigapan betas but the jp2 are one of the best resolutions you can get you have that little cube square cube here sitting on something down here and, and this is not a small object look at the shadow I am gonna go back to to the size of it in just a minute I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see how close we actually can go with the JP2 image and we are so close now that it's becoming blurry we have to go this is the closest you can get but you can't see anything when you get that close this is 
just about where it's best to use. Can maybe zoom out a little bit. And it's clear to see that this is a square object and there's something on the side of this object. Let us get back to the size. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, not because it's getting clearer, but because I have to show you there is a little tool here. See, this one is just about 15 pixels long. If we go back to NASA's page and have a look at what this what the what's written about the information on size it will tell you that one pixel is about 30 centimeters and that's just about one feet just a little below one feet you saw this was about 15 pixels wide the object we were looking at here Let's get it back here again. It was about 15 pixels wide. Probably a little bit more, but, but let's stay to, to the 15 pixels here. That means that this object here from one side to another would be four and a half meters each way. So this is something with the size of a small car and, and the object over here would also have the size of what's something like two cars so what are we looking at with all these objects there is this one over here now I just said that Dolly is home and she had a problem with one of her teeth. She has a bad tooth today and <laughs> this will actually look like one of the tooth you have <laughs> all the way back in your in your mouth. <laughs> but it is an odd object. This one is also about five meters in each direction and it looks like there is some a hole down here and uh, is this some kind of entrance what are we looking at but I want to go back to the pictures here and say that these are amazing pictures and when you look at it you cannot have any doubt that we are looking at something with a square cube on and I remember I've seen a square cube on Mars before that was on soul number 120 the Shaler crater uh, or PIA 16700 from that uh, gigapan there that NASA has produced that's the only two times I have seen what is or can be described as almost perfect cubes. What is this mysterious object that we are looking at here? Are we looking at something that is artificial created? Or is it just a trick of light or nature creating what looks like square cubes? Standing on a something with something that looks like a skull just next to it, a three meter wide skull. Is it just a trick of light? Is it just nature playing with us? I don't know. I am asking you. I would love to have your comments on it on YouTube or on Facebook. Go study the link and uh, share this video with, with your or your friends. Until we see you again, take care. Bye.